Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you guys now game two in the series, Alice versus Elegant. It is going to be here on Bright and Dark, a Night Elf versus Night Elf mirror match as the game is underway. Alice this time around spawning as the blue Night Elf on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile on the top right we have Elegant spawning as the red Night Elf. Night Elf versus Night Elf mirror match on Bright and Dark, perhaps one of my favorite maps to actually cast. There is so much to, so much going on in terms of the game, in terms of creep, in terms of what you can do, that there seems to be never a dull moment. If you're not attacking your opponent, you're going after creeps, trying to get extra gold, trying to get better positioning, and that does have a very, very large effect in terms of the hero battles and later on in the game. We are looking at a force troll trapper um, down over here, which will get creeped out. Meanwhile, off over here to the north, you see fell guards and void walkers. Um, I never thought much about it, but um, there is actually a slight difference between the creep camps. 400 hit points versus uh, 365, but the void walkers deal slightly more damage, but they have mana, so they have more effects there. The armor is different as well. Timber wolves, 312 and 13 fell guards. Uh, heavy armor 11 and 12 so there is some minor minor differences between these two creep camps and this is one of those creep camps that is not mirrored it's one of those situations where hey you know what uh, one side may actually have a bit of an advantage over the other if you are not careful but it is so so close and there's so much randomness in um, Warcraft 3 anyways that it doesn't really it, it hopefully just all cancels out randomness and that the void walker doesn't do a flat amount of damage it's 23 to 27 damage sometimes it's more sometimes it's less but that little bit of randomness does uh, make for a rather interesting game all right let's see the demon hunter is now finally out gonna go ahead and take down some of those timber wolves this ancient of war taking a lot of damage as the demon hunter picks up a ring of protection plus two Demon Hunter over here picks up a circlet of nobility as we see Fell Guards and the Void Walker looking to finish off this Ancient of War. Now this may be rather uh, problematic. That Void Walker, um, that Void Walker, and uh, down to 42, 30 hit points. It cannot, act, it cannot get attacked by that Ancient of War any longer. There it goes. Fell Guard, same situation. Finally going to get attacked down. And Elegant gets all of the experience off on his heroes as the Demon Hunter is about to walk inside his opponent's base. There you have it. The Demon Hunter now looks to push in. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter of Blue now looking to creep out. It looks as though it is going to get up to level 2 here in just a moment. Picks up another ring of protection. That is 35% damage reduction. That is a lot of extra armor. And oh, beautiful, beautiful play here, hiding the Wisp in such a way that the Demon Hunter cannot get to them. All right, are we going to see a Mana Burn? Yes, we are. Red versus Blue, Mana Burn versus Mana Burn. Both of them losing 125 mana while dealing 50 damage. All right, it looks like Blue came out slightly ahead there as a Demon Hunter going to get off another shot there. And what is this Demon Hunter doing? The Demon Hunter is just mana burning through here. And there's another path beautifully played, beautifully done as this Demon Hunter may get off some easy shots. There is uh, there is one quick, quick uh, what loss of a Wisp there as that Demon Hunter now down to zero mana, still trying to get away. There is one lone Archer here. I cannot not let know the Archers are now going after some Moon Wells and Elegant may actually get these moon wells pretty easily let's take a look back over here the demon hunter is looking to come back in but the archers are causing a little bit of a disruption there you go the moon well has been taken down again as the archers now may need the shadow meld as well elegant being very very careful taking a lot of damage the demon hunter very low on hit points does use a scroll of town portal and up oh, shadow melding on both of the archers the archers have gone back home Elegant drops his circlet of nobility, uses all those moon wells, and then heads back out into the field, into the fray. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter sitting at level 2, hoping to perhaps sell some Ring of Protections and then buy something a little bit more useful. No, doesn't even bother to do that. Keeping those Rings of Protection plus 9 armor is very effective if you have staple healing. And that's exactly what those moon wells are, staple healing. Damage reduction matters more if you have healing than hit points just because you always heal a flat amount of hit points. But 
if you have high armor, you are actually recovering more hit points or more effective hit points every time you are hit. Demon Hunter now being brought over once again. It looks like they're just going to be running inside. The Hunter's Hall is now being constructed. You can see Void Walkers are here. What is this Demon Hunter looking to do besides just getting slowed down by those cold arrows? And the Demon Hunter now being brought over as well. Let's see. The Demon Hunter does have a... A, a, what, um, a potion of replenishment being used now going after wisp one at a time yes one wisp does get taken down and this moonwell may even get taken down as well we are going to be getting a mana burn perhaps from the back here in just a moment oh it looks as though that one wisp does survive there's the mana burn both of them sitting at level two as the demon hunters may try to make a little bit of a play there's dust of appearance there goes an archer mana burn onto that naga sea witch the naga sea witch does have boots of speed but so does that demon hunter and that demon hunter now getting off an easy shot let's come back around oh this one particular moonwell could have been taken down there's another huge mana burn by both and now red with mana to burn doesn't have um, can't burn any mana on the blue demon hunter all right, so let's take a look here. Demon Hunter now making its way off to the north, doing a little bit of a foot race between the forest here and the Naga Sea, which now joins in on the fight, trying to slow down that Demon Hunter. That Demon Hunter is now in a little bit of a sticky situation, needs to get away. This Demon Hunter, however, deciding to give chase once more as we are now looking at the Naga Sea Witch with those boots of speed, perhaps making a bit of a play as well. So far, sitting at level two, level two, um, level two, level one, as we are now looking at blue trying to creep out more of that creep camp. Now, this has been pretty uh, a pretty solid play by blue so far. Blue has just been keeping track, um, keeping track of the map, trying to make sure that he can creep, even though he ha is behind. He does have a little bit of a larger army. Actually, no, armies are exactly the same right now. As yes, I, blue does get the kill there. 49 gold. That does add up to be quite a bit. As the Naga Sea Witch going to go ahead and head over to the Moonwells. And now engage onto the Demon Hunter. The Naga Sea Witch could easily get some shots off here. Meanwhile, where are the rest of the units? The Demon Hunter now looking to come back in. Goblin Shredder joins in on the fight. And are we going to even see... Oh, this archer going to have a very bad day. Is it going to get taken down? Yes, it does. As the Naga Sea Witch unable to shoot an arrow into its own friend's back to try to deny some experience. Ancient of War now regenerating some trees. And now trying to go after the Timber Wolf. The Demon Hunter and the Goblin Shredder are there. We could be perhaps seeing a man another mana burn. No, we are not. As we are looking at the Naga Sea Witch trying to join back in and push back all of those units. That looks like it will work here. The Timber Wolf will get taken down. There it goes. As we are now looking, excuse me, as we are now looking at just the mid game with both sides setting up to tr Ancients of Lore, perhaps we will get a Tree of Eternity with bears. And bears and dryads may be the option of choice. So far though, both of these players really not using um, Bright and Dark how I thought they would be. Bright and Dark is very, very popular. Oh, I do believe, yes, 45 gold for the blue team tier, and he got the experience. That is a huge, huge loss there, as the Demon Hunter and the Naga Sea Witch of Red really need to get higher up in level. All right, damage onto the Naga Sea Witch while losing on Archer. There is another mana burn again, as the Druid of the Claw does move uh, very slowly, especially when colded, but still does a good bit of damage. 29 to 44. Staff of Preservation saves the Naga Sea Witch as it heads back home. We are now looking at Druid of the Claw, double Druid of the Claw. Do we have Rejuvenation? I'm not quite sure, but that could be within the realm of possibility. Ancient of War now attempting to creep out the Broodmother creep camp here. Let's take a look. That Breedmother down to 620 some odd hit points. Going to go a go ahead and head after that Ancient of War. That slow poison onto the Broodmother. Um, causing a little bit of damage over time. And there we have it. Level 2 on the Naga Sea Witch. Finally, still level 2 on the Demon Hunter. Meanwhile, we are seeing that level 1. And I believe level 1 on the... Or le level 2 and level 1. So a 1 level hero advantage for the blue team. All right, last spider will get taken down. Staff of Preservation saving it as we are now looking at the Naga Sea Witch and Demon Hunter ready to engage. Sells the item, not even sure what it was. Worth 200 gold though. 
and now going to make a move out into the midfield no into the mid base the bears are in position though to try and destroy all of these moon wells there is another quick mana burn again and both sides taking a bit of damage okay the druid of the claw does cast a rejuvenation now in bear mode and now ready to get some damage in on some of these units all right let's take a look um naga naga sea witch engaging back over here trying to take down the other naga sea witch blue naga sea witch now tries to run to the back it looks like he she will be able to and now cause the demon hunter to just lose a lot of dps as he doesn't want to try and engage you can see the goblin shredders are all nearby demon hunter trying to go after this bear this bear oh could have been taken down was not taken down this bear of elegant though oh staff of preservation saved beautifully played but i do believe one bear will at least go down yes there it goes level three demon hunter and the naga sea which is not too far behind give me one moment All right, welcome back to the game. Moment in time for you. Um, a little bit more rested, Crota, for you as well as we now take a look at Red coming back, getting bears, and now trying to rejuvenate them and get them back up to full. Meanwhile, Blue side taking this opportunity to creep. Level 3, level 2 on the Blue. Blue heroes, meanwhile, Red heroes are sitting, I believe, comparable levels. No, down two levels each or total, but this should be uh, rectified in just a moment. However, we are going to see a little bit of a creep jack here. This is potentially bad. Coming back in from the back, Ancient of War is trying to creep out. However, oh no, the, the creep camp is actually being creeped out back over here as well. So Blue trying to creep as well. This one bear does need to get a rejuvenation off. Very, very low on hit points. And both sides are going to be able to creep up a little bit, but this gives Red a much bigger advantage. He is now only down by about 11 experience overall in terms of levels as the Demon Hunter is sitting at 3 and the Naga Sea Witch is going to get to 3 here in just a moment. Let's take a look back over here. Those heroes are now backing off. It looks as though Red now making his way off to the north. Going to go ahead and start creeping out these very, very important Red Creep Camps um, that do drop some very, very good items. The Greater Void Walker going to be that first item to get, or first hero to get taken down, or first mob to get taken down. Rune of Rebirth is being left behind here. Fell Beast are still all there. And let's take a look at what it's going to be. It is obviously going to be that Greater Void Walker and a Wand of Mana Stealing. Not that useful, especially in a Demon Hunter versus Demon Hunter battle. We'll see what's going to happen there. You can see there is a Doom Guard off over here as well. That could make a little bit of a, of a play in addition, as we are looking at where these demon hunters can be traveling to next. All right, bears are now in druid form, making sure that they do get a lot more mana for the upcoming fight. Bears with rejuvenation, always very, very helpful. Apparently, however, he doesn't want them to be in rejuvenation mode at all. As we are looking at Staff of Preservation, saving a low hit point. No, just bringing the demon hunter back. I believe he sold the item at the Ancient of Wonders, realizing that 200 gold is better. Bears now on the move. Meanwhile, we are taking a look back in the center portion of the map there. A goblin merchant shop has already been crept out. Level 3 on the Demon Hunter. Level 3 now on that Naga Sea, which a one hero advantage and so far and that one hero advantage may turn out to be a very very big play but the naga sea which isn't that far behind 90 more experience and then she will catch up as well as we're looking at this red creep count getting crept out all right here we go in comes a little bit of an engagement bears are in position and we are going to go straight after that ancient of war ancient of war taking a little bit of damage already bears already in position there's some rejuvenation onto that bear are we going to see a squirrel town portal as a demon hunter no naga sea witch leading the charge that's a little bit odd there goes the ancient of war and now we may even lose some moon wells moon wells very very prime targets oh wand of illusion that is a lot of bears and that could potentially be some um, really big play there all right you can see a lot of damage being absorbed there one illusion gone and now just trying to figure out where all of those illusions are there is some rejuvenation coming down as well but what's happening there all right there is that chain lightning coming in from the greater void walker but is it going to be enough all right this bear now being forced to run all the way back home is it going to be able to perhaps hide in the backfield squirrel of healing now used and red looks like he does have a little bit of an advantage here even though there are moon wells to heal some of blue all right this could be bad the druid of the claw does need to back off here in just a moment the bears of blue do have more hit point um, and that is going to perhaps start tipping things in favor of blue here. And just again, there goes a fork lightning and there goes two more. Oh, no, one more bear. This bear looks like it's going to get saved. 
No, it's not going to. Yes, it is going to get saved as another bear. This bear gets taken down. Level 4, now level 3. And we do have a potion of lesser invulnerability now being used by both heroes. All right, abolish magic. Staff of Preservation trying to save some more. Naga Sea Witch needs to try and... Tr and re recover all of these guys here all the bears are trying to retreat what is this bear doing it needs to get back out of there and oh, what are we going to be seeing next all right the demon hunter very low on hit points this demon hunter trying to lead the charge but he doesn't want to get separated from the rest of his army either this bear now heading back off to the north but importantly the greater void walker did not fall and elegant also has a lot of low hit point bears back at home so those that staff of preservation with that 30 second cooldown very effective at saving these bears and you can see that after so many bears were lost you still still have about eight wow eight bears for elegant meanwhile let's take a look at what blue has blue currently has six bears um and more being trained i am assuming no no more six bears is that it all right um, six bears is normally a lot but it looks as though elegant is going to be able to recharge and regroup up in this fight the fight was going poorly for elegant he backed off just in time to save a handful of those bears and then coming back in, he is gonna be he is gonna have a little bit of an advantage. Alright, you can see the Wisp has been taken down at the Elven Gate. They pretty much know what's going on. Alright, potion of lesser invulnerability. Staff of preservation on the Naga Sea Witch as the Demon Hunter and the Dryads are now heading their way off to the north. Do they see this expansion off to the north here? There is a Cloak of Shadows, but that item is not very useful at all, as this Ancient of Wonders will get taken down. All right, bear, what's going to be happening next? One bear still in druid form. There's the roar. And are we going to get a rejuvenation onto a unit before the fight does come into play? Let's take a look back over here. Squirrel Town Portal now coming in. And it is going to land straight up on top of the army right next to it. There you go. Fork Lightning now coming in. Naga Sea Witch, Mana Burn back and forth the goblin shredder taking a lot of damage staff of preservation saves one unit but it looks like another bear may get taken down all right the void walker in the back may cast another chain lightning here in just a moment do we have a scroll of healing no scroll of healing that is a bit of a surprise as one bear does get taken down blue now losing bears is red going to be able to save his lower hit point bears there goes another bear saved and this is just better micro coming in from the red team saving those low hit point bears and then making sure that they don't fall it looks as though the blue team now finally is going to get some um, shots off another red low hit point drew to the claw oh potion of lesser invulnerability used naga sea which now tries to get away and low hit point demon hunter cannot be leading this charge here you got to be extremely careful oh the demon hunter is right there but there are bears right behind that the naga sea which does have a scroll of healing and we may perhaps see a turnaround and attack no we don't what is going on here as this one low hit point drew to the claw? Are we going to see an engagement? Oh, we could be seeing an engagement here. The Naga Sea Witch could get a cold arrow off onto the back of the Demon Hunter. Now going after some of those units. That bear is relatively low. There is a scroll of healing that changes everything around. Staff of Preservation saves it, and it is now a two-on-two -two bear battle with one Void Walker in the front. Demon Hunter, Staff of Preservation saves the low hit point bear. Bear, Dryads. Now trying to get that slow poison off onto that Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter, oh, getting choked up by his own Void Walker. This could be bad news. Oh, almost choked up on a pig. As the Dryads now still prancing their way forward, they get choked up on a squirrel. And yep, how often does that happen? Bears now once again being rejuvenated. Four bears back at home. Um, already ready to go. A fifth bear now coming in on in here as well are more bears being trained yes it is going to be six bears again 49 over 70 supply this greater void walker perhaps needs some mana perhaps should be using the nightstone but using oh one very low hit point bear hiding in the corner right there i don't know why it is not in druid form in order to rejuvenate all of those hit points very difficult to see off in the corner there all right that one bear that may have ma made a very big difference let's take a look at this here the druid of the claw now trying to get away fork lightning cold arrow mana burn onto the demon hunter mana burn again both sides mana burning staff of preservation saves some units as there is some squ what scroll of protection now being used as well both sides trying to engage the bears 2-1 versus 2-1 upgrades low hit point bear getting choked up on a pig staff of preservation saves it and this low hit point bear, um, or Druid of the Claw, tries to get away. It looks like it is not going to get away. A final spear in the back. And now, 
things are not looking good. Red in trouble. Red has lost a lot of bears. Also, keeping one bear back at home was not a safe or good call at all. And that one additional bear may have made a difference. Staff of Preservation saves that. That bear goes down. And now... It looks as though the blue is coming back in with a vengeance and may be able to finish off more units. There you go. This one drew to the claw, now finally getting rejuvenated. The demon hunter needs to be rejuvenated as well. Not quite sure why it isn't. Come on, you bear. Um, rejuvenate your demon hunter. There you go. But it is only now five bears. The army is sitting at, I believe, 52 over 70 supply off over here. Re meanwhile, red is sitting at 48 over 70. But you got to remember, there is an expansion up here at what I'll call the center 10 o'clock position. All right, bears now making their way back down. And it looks as though, yes, we are going to be trying to creep out another 433 creep camp. This is relatively easy here. And this is going to perhaps give the Naga Sea Witch level 4 and even things up just a little bit. Um, item is going to be a Ring of Protection plus 3. Uh, will be helpful, especially with those rejuvenations coming in and more bears still being added. Let's, let's come back around the backside here. Um, let's see more low hit point. That Voidwalker is a level 9 Voidwalker. So a 9-3-1 creep camp. Not something you see every day. Taking down the lower hit point Voidwalkers first. And then focusing on that Elder, Greater Rune of Resurrection. Um, I guess it allows you to resurrect any unit that you have lost here. I don't believe there's any units lost, though. Um, so it's just going to stay there. There is one Skeletal Warrior just standing there not doing anything at all. As we now see Blue preparing for a big fight. All right. A major attack coming in off over here. Let's take a look at the, the Demon Hunter going after all these units. Tome of Intelligence plus two. Um, Demon Hunter decides to pick it up. D Demon Hunter does not have a Scroll of Town Portal, so this could be potentially bad. Staff of Preservation to bring back the Demon Hunter already as the main fight is brought on. That is a whole bunch of bears. Three, four, f what is that? Eight bears? Eight bears now walking around. One of them in Druid of the Claw form. Um... Or in Druid form, excuse me. Two of them in Druid form. We are now up to nine. More bears coming out, though. So this is interesting in that both sides are pretty much entering with the same units. However, this is going to be a little bit of a pincer play. Dryad, Squirrel of Town Portal, now being used in order to get the heck out of the town there. And there you go. A very, very, very crazy fork lightning all the way back home. Dealing a little bit of damage. And it looks as though the blue team is a little bit more wear for tear. But that is about it. Nothing a couple points of mana and a rejuvenation cannot recover from. Uh, Alright. You can see that there's this waygate. Doom Guard is off over here. The Doom Guard and the Vile Temptress is a very, very tempting creep camp if you have a Scroll of Town portal in order to head back home. If you don't, then you may be out of position and may lose your base rather quickly. Demon Hunter sending that level 4, and the Naga Sea Witch sitting at level 4. Demon Hunter is almost at level 5. Meanwhile, the Red Demon Hunter is about halfway there. We are going to see a, a little bit of an engagement now. Zeppelin is in the air as well, as the Zeppelin is just trying to follow the units. However, the Goblin Zeppelin could get focused down rather quickly. Alright, are we going to see an engagement here? There we are. There is the engagement, and there we go. This is a very good, good, um, just concave by blue. Blue just having a better surface area. No, some of the bears are actually in the back dancing around. Let's take a look at this one low hit point red bear. Is it going to get saved? No, it is not. Not quite sure what's going on there. Scroll of healing. We could save a bear there. Yes, there's one save bear. That bear, oh, does get saved as well. And as the arrow is flying towards it, another bear may get saved here in just a moment. And there you go. Elegant saying game, losing game two. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.